Yo yo Space Raptors, Dynasty Rocket here and today I'm back with another Nerf Gun review. The Recon CS6 from the End Strike series. Here it is. It's one of the most customizable Nerf guns there are. It is a very, very nice gun. Um, it has one tactical rail on the main gun body and two if you include the barrel. Um, in case you're wondering, I am using my custom clip here, which is quite nice. I'll show you more of that in another episode. This is a very nice gun. It is the old version of the Retaliator, which I will review in the next two weeks. Without all the attachments, you can take them off quite easily. But it's just sort of a clip-fed pistol, which is very, very nice. Because I think Nerf are missing clip-fed pistols, but with the Recon, they kind of have got it halfway there. I think it'd be nice if they could make one that's a little smaller, but it comes with four separate configurations. You can have with the stock, like a little block, without the stock, with just the barrel, but then it's very, very front heavy. And with the stock and the barrel. Uh, it's kind of hard to load the sight onto the tactical rail here with the barrel on. Just so you know. It has quite a good range. You can get it's about 20 to 30 feet. It's not bad. It doesn't compare to the Elite Blasters, but it's not bad. It's got great accuracy though. So you can fit other barrels on it, obviously, and other stocks. The Recon stock is probably my favourite though, because it can hold another clip. The Retaliate stock's quite good, but it can't hold another clip, so that's a bit annoying. And the Raider stock's adjustable, but no more, but it doesn't hold a clip. Let's get into the attachments it comes with. It comes with a light here, tactical rail light mount, which goes underneath. It's very nice. It's got a tactical rail on the light, so you can add a bipod under it or whatever. Uh, it has two settings, if I get rid of the lights. So the two settings you have, I think this is red dot moon. Yeah, that's red dot. It's not got an amazing range. Probably about. I'd, I'm not sure about the light range, but it's nice with the lights as well because you can shine them in the mirror, and it can generally show you where the bullet's going to ricochet. And if you switch this lever here, you can change it to torch mode, which, as you can see, looks different. It's just basically a big red light, which is very good for nighttime. If you put this on top of the fire strike, for example then you've got a perfect night gun and also if you load it onto the raven you've got a good gun or if you use this one with the raven clip and attach the fire strike to the bottom barrel it, you've got a very nice gun let's turn the lights back on now so we reattach it There. The sight itself is quite nice because you can line it up with the adjustable stop on the end of the barrel. So you can look right through that, sort of like that. The sight is adjustable. If you twist this bit that way, then you can slide it up and down, whatever you want to do with it. And that's pretty much it for the gun. The stop removal isn't ambidextrous, however the clip removal is. It only removes the stock on this side. And of course, the stock held a clip, which is very nice. You can hurt yourself when you pull it out though because you crush your hand on there. The gun has two clip adapters if you have the stock on. You have one on the end of the handle, as you can see, and one up on the end of the stock. Or you can also attach it to the stock. So let's go to firing. Ready to fire. So it's already loaded, you can't have it not loaded. Far away! The sight does sometimes get in the way. I 
I don't think this gun's range decreases over time. It's been pretty good. And it packs a punch enough not to actually hurt, but to, you know, to be satisfied with. So there's the shooting finished. Final notes about this gun. I don't have too much to say. It'd be nice if the stock was a bit firmer, but it can kind of wobble around a bit, as you can see. It's hard to get a perfectly straight aim, but you can use other stocks, which is pretty nice. Barrel is a good barrel. It's got lines on the inside, like you can see there, to help keep the, the bullet nice and accurate. Sight is nice. It's a good sort of size. Um, not as great for aiming as the long strike, I think it is the W1, the long strike sight, but it's still nice and good. It doesn't come with the W1s by the way, just in case you don't know, it come, it's been made quite a while ago and it comes with streamlines, which look like this, as you probably know. They look different, but the Elite ones are much better. Close up for you there. These two, as you can see. That's it from me, Diane Dude Rocket. Thank you very much for watching this Nerf Gun review. Check out my other ones in Diane Dude Reviews. The link is in the description. Uh, earlier today, I did the Vigilon. I the Vortex Vigilon. I also have done the Havoc Vulcan and the Stampede and now the Recon. If you want me to do a specific gun, just let me know. If I have it, I'll do it for you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye.